God has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey, everybody. All right. Stay safe. Continue to keep that social distancing. Put on some masks when you go outside. So you go, just in case you may be infected, you could be asymptomatic. And if you don't want to be able to spread that virus to other people, to your neighbors, uh, to the first responders, and, and everybody else. So let's, let's just be led by God and do the right thing. Uh, and then, like I said, there's some churches, if I didn't say, I'm saying it now, some, some churches actually had the uh, WIT services today. Uh, and I just, just keep them in prayer and pray that none of them were infected. None of them will be taking that back home. None of them will be taking it back to their community. So let's keep that prayer. But I do want to say happy uh, uh, Resurrection Sunday. And I just want everybody to understand that the resurrection is what the celebration is all about. Because if Jesus has not risen, then our faith is in vain. But he did rise. Amen. Um, by faith we receive that. And the other thing too is to understand is that there's people... Uh, who used to the traditions of saying Easter. I mean, it's very commonly known. We've been doing it for thousands of years now. And just make sure you get a chance to understand that Easter itself has nothing to do with the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The Easter bunny has nothing to do with the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, those are pagan rituals. Uh, Easter itself is a pagan god, goddess. And so therefore, I'm just saying is that I'm not going to put you down if you want to say Easter, as long as you all remember what it's for. But if you get a chance sometime, go and take a look at it. Just, just go look and see where the eggs come from. What, what was the tent of the color of the eggs? Were those eggs always just like little pretty uh, colors of blue and green? Or does the history show they were covered by red? And those red colors was blood. Let's take a look at it. And she is that, that, that bunny is that Peter Rabbit, that nice, pretty bunny. Or is it something of something more deadly and sinister? Just saying, but the same thing on Halloween, right? So the kids, they go for the fun of it. Just remember, we know the background of Halloween. It, it, it was, when they were talking trick or treat back in those days, they were talking about is, Either you give up your, your, your daughter or your child for a sacrifice or you're gonna you're gonna get a you're gonna get a trick. You know where you're gonna everybody will be killed in the house. So that, that was the background of Halloween, but you know, we changed it and massaged it to make it sudden of innocence. So you you know, we still do it. I'm not gonna put you down for it. Just remember what it's for. Same thing for when you say Easter opposed to resurrection, just understand that. The bunny doesn't have anything to do with Jesus' resurrection. Esther definitely has nothing to do with the resurrection or Esther, uh, the pagan goddess. It has nothing to do with the resurrection. That was those four pagan rituals, pagan holidays, and the saints used that day because that's when everybody else was busy doing celebration, is to go ahead and do it as well. The only one that lines up with is the Passover, uh, which the Jews do, but their calendar is different. Is I'm, I'm, I'm amazed why we never did jump into saying Passover opposed to uh, Easter. You know, one is pagan, one is biblical. All right, but it was it is interesting to say that the on the the Passover is a foreshadowing of of, of the death of Jesus Christ. And then the, 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 the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, if you remember the Exodus chapter 12, the Passover, uh, what kind of parallel the day was the Jewish people had to stay in their house, in each individual home, not in a synagogue, but in the individual homes, uh, because the deaf angel was going to pass over Egypt. And, and, and they had to sacrifice a lamb and, and the blood of the lamb was posted on the doorpost so that when the deaf angel passed by, if he saw the blood of the lamb, just like Jesus 
gives us the blood that covers us. The blood of the Lamb was a signal for the death angel to pass by. And if you didn't have that blood covered by the blood, then the death angel was going to pay a visit. And on top of that, too, look, I, what I did like this, and maybe that would uh, certainly the study about the fact is in the Passover, them staying in the home, they were ready to leave the next day to salvation. And that's what the Passover represents Jesus' sacrifice for salvation for the world. Amen? From the bondage of sin. And so I'm just, just. If you listen to this video, and I pray that some of you will, I know some of you will, and that's the ones that listen, that's what it's all about. God got for you to listen. The fact is, the Passover represents, is symbolic or foreshadowing the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ and the deliverance of, of the people of Israel. Same thing for the deliverance of us from the bondage of sin. No longer under the curse, amen? I'm just saying. That's what, we, that's what we have Bible study, so we can learn, amen? And so I'm just saying is that that's what really is interesting. We never did transition to just stay up with the Passover uh, with uh, Jesus' uh, resurrection. But, you know, people made those decisions thousands of years ago. So if you still say, Easter, I'm not going to put you down. That's up to you, as long as you understand what the real purpose is. And I'm pretty sure most of you do. And just understand, if you want to make sure your children one day understand what the Easter Bunny is about, what the eggs are about, what the pagan God is all about, then, then make sure you understand it. Just know that, all right? But for me, hey man, and, 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 and some of us who have been studying the show, we understand this is Resurrection Sunday. And also just remember, he rose on, on the Sabbath day, hey amen? Because uh, when Mary showed up, it was still dark. There's no, there's no sunrise, sun, what do you call it, sunrise service? Sunrise service, he was already up. Because even the scripture said that when they showed up to the tomb, it was already, it was still dark. So there's some things of, of studying to make sure you enlightened. So I'm passing that on to you. I, I would encourage you to read the Bible. We're going to have the scriptures in our study. This is part A. We're just going to get to the summary. Uh, I'm going to just summarize that when you get into part A. With part B, we're actually going to go to the Passover and just walk it through how that mirrors the resurrection or the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Amen? So, I want you to enjoy the video and just please continue to stay safe. Continue to, to keep that social distancing. Uh, also remember to put on your mask when you go out so that people and, and workers, people that go out there and work in the restaurant and remind them, those who work in the restaurant, work in, work in Kroger and all those other places, just, just tell them to put their mask on uh, because, you know, it comes out of the mouth. <laughs> the virus comes out of the mouth and therefore we want to make sure, let's just try to help contain it. You know, let, put a mask or put a bandana on so you don't breathe it. If you're asymptomatic and we're going to find out eventually how many people are, uh, let's, let's not be the carrier of the disease and giving it an ability to continue to infest and cause death. Because right now we, we're leading the world in death and in infections. And uh, that's not something we want to brag about. So continue to pray. I hope you really did enjoy your the. Uh, Resurrection Sunday, and for those who may get offended because it's traditions, and traditions sometimes cause offense. Uh, and people don't want to back off in their uh, traditions. Those who had a Easter Sunday, hope you had an enjoyable Easter Sunday. Hope you pray and remember. It's the reason, just like just like just like Christmas, the reason for the season is about Jesus Christ, not about a bunny, and not about a pagan god, but. Right now, our job is to pray and pray and give thanks to God that we're going to defeat this virus, this pestilence. Amen. All right. Enjoy the Bible study. I really got excited because <laughs> it's, it, you get more excited when you understand what it's all about. Amen. All right. Hey, enjoy yourself for this week. Stay safe. 
and let's keep praying. Amen. All right. God bless. Bye bye. Man. Hey, let's let's pray. Let's bow here. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. Father, this day we are recognizing the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. And, and, and Father, we, 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 this whole, amen, amen. this whole city, this whole county, this whole state, this whole world, uh, all parts of the country, all parts of the world, all parts of the states, all parts of the city, there are believers recognizing remembrance of what you did by sending your only son. Hallelujah. Your only begotten Hallelujah. son, glory to God, to, to allow us to be born into that kingdom, born into the body of Christ, to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We've been resurrected now. We've been reborn in the spirit of God. Yes. And we're coming together yes. in the name of Jesus the on this Jesus. resurrection Sunday, saying he's alive. Hallelujah. <laughs> he's alive. And, and, and we recognize he's alive every day, but this is the way we get minister to the whole world <laughs> of yes. our celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And Father, yes. we pray, Lord, for, for that power and the resurrection. Because like you said in that Philippians 3.10, that we may know him and the power of his resurrection made Amen. conformal to, and the fellowship of the suffering made conformal to his death, that we use that power to confront the, the disease for 2020 for this time Amen. of the year, Lord. We ask the Heavenly Father to give us wisdom to arrest this pestilence. Father, we pray, Lord, forgive us if there's any type of sin that we have done as a nation, any, any type of arrogance that we may have had as a nation. We ask, Lord, that we repent in the name of Jesus. The body of Christ repents in the name of Jesus. And ask, Lord, to just lead us and guide us according to your way and your will and your purpose. We lift up our president. We lift up the, the senators and congressmen, the Supreme Courts and lower courts, state, federal, and local officials. Father, we lift, especially important, we lift up the first responders, the doctors, the nurses. We pray, Heavenly Father, for those essential workers that run the meat factories and feed us in the grocery store. All the people that got to come out and continue to keep the society working, we pray for them and lift them up because they have to be on the front line of fighting this force. You give him strength, Lord. Yes, Lord. And Father, we also pray right now, Lord, we, we, we get another report of, 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 of a high rate of death. We, we still see people dying, Lord, and we ask, Lord, that there's people right now fighting for their life fighting to survive and to, to, to come back and, and be restored. We ask, Lord, we intercede for them. We're praying for them, Father. We're praying, Lord, that they beat this battle that they're fighting right now. And they be able to walk out of that hospital being made whole. We, fight, we pray for believers and unbelievers, Lord, and we, we, we lift them up in the name of Jesus. Father, we also pray, Lord, for those who lost loved ones and and in some and in some cases lord there's no 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 way to do a homecoming we ask lord just to comfort them with the holy spirit mm -hmm. and let them know that their loved ones are in your hands right now and we believe in a just god that's going to comfort them and and and, and they're no more in pain father Father, we just we just need you here. We need you in our heart and our mind, our soul. We thank you, Father, for making us one body, one mind, and one spirit. Father, this Resurrection Sunday, we declare and celebrate you alive, and we have victory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We got victory in the name of Jesus, Elder. This is a Resurrection Sunday, and that's what that that we said. We start on the Philippians three ten that we may know Him. What and the power of His resurrection. Amen. Come on, sir. Woo, Amen. man! I, I'm just excited by the fact I couldn't even I ain't even sleep yet because I I just was so excited by the fact of being able to to, to say this uh, on live video. He's alive. <laughs> He's alive, brother. The reason for this season is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And this country, this country honors the birth, the resurrection, the fellowshipping of Jesus Christ. And all believers out here, you, the Brother Jackson, Elder Johnson, all of them out there being able to say he's alive. We're witnessing to the world just by the fact that we're doing the remembrance of Jesus Christ. Amen?
Amen. Amen. Elder, one of the things I did, I put on that slide though, just to start off. These are these are just little. And now, look, now, the point I got is 2 Timothy 1 7. Elder, Elder, this I like this word. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. Amen. That's the battle right there, brother. We 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 got and see the sound mind to me is saying, look, I ain't asking you. God ain't asking us to run into no burning house, huh? <laughs> we we can just sit there and be able to 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 recognize the wisdom that He gives us, the sound mind that gives us, and the fact it's not about fear, it's about faith, right? Because the just shall live by faith. faith. Amen. You know. And here's the other piece here is in Revelation 3, 6. For the rest of the body of Christ, as we move forward, is this. He that has an ear, a spiritual ear, right, Elder? Let Amen. him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Amen. And, and, and the reason I put that in there, I want y'all to know, we talked about it last Sunday, and I just want to add this in here. The Bible said to pray, Right? First Thessalonians 5, 17 said, Elder said, pray without ceasing. Amen. And prayer without ceasing is being in communication with God constantly. We, we, you, we want to be able to, when we go and deal with our decision making, we invite him into that decision making. When we sit there and just ponder things going on, our issues and problems in life, we want him to be involved in that. So that he gives us that wisdom, that strength, and that, that 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 direction of how to deal with the issues of life. Amen? Amen. And that's what I'm saying. So pray without ceasing is first Thessalonians. I put also first Thessalonians uh, two thirteen. For this cause also thank we God without what? Ceasing. Because when ye receive the word of God, oh, I like this, yeah, this dude right here. When we receive the word, we, when, when we receive the word of God, which you heard for, of us, you receive it not as the word of men, Brother Jackson. As you get ready to move forward in the ministry, you need to let people understand, it ain't my words, it's his words. Huh? <laughs> it's, receive it not as the word of men. But of truth, the word of God, which effectively worketh also in you that believe. Amen. I'm just going to say, let y'all know, man. When you, when we ministry, we want to minister the word, and 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 that word comes from God. And so the person understand is not us; it's God that's talking. Amen. We we don't we don't want to give people directions or anything else. We both give them the word of God. We both are confirm the word of God. We both give our testimony on how the word of God is impacting our own lives. We give the word of God encouraging people as they walk through this thing right now. Even this virus, this pestilence we're dealing right now, it's called about giving the word of God. Allowing everybody to understand we're going to recover. We're going to have victory. We're going to get through this because of the word of God. You know, I even talk about the fact that I like the president when he was talking about the fact he wanted to be aspirational. He want to encourage people. Don't want people to be to, to be disheartened. Well, the thing is, you want to say that, but you want to have some power to back up with it. And see, we're backing it up with the Word of God. We're saying it's not it's not us that's going to get through. It's God going to get us through. Amen? That's how you do it. That's how you tell people. It's our Lord that we're depending on to give us victory. The other one I put down here is Joshua 1.8. Brother Jack, this is Sunday for us as we grow in the things of God is this. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein how often? Day and night. That thou may observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. We, we want people to understand it's all about the word of God. We, we, you know, we live by faith. Faith comes, Elder Mother said, faith comes by hearing, and hearing the word of God. And if it comes by the word of God, then that means we meditate on the word day and night. 
it just becomes part of our life. The word of God, not by the law, not it's not about your walking legalism. It's talking about the fact is that I'm a child of God. I'm a joint heir with Christ Jesus. I'm more than a conqueror who drank. Christ Jesus loves me, huh? If God be for me, who can be against me, huh? I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Even when I don't have joy, I can't find it. I can find it in Him. That's what I'm trying to say. That meditating on that, Elder, the meditating the fact is that the weapons of warfare are not cardinal, but mighty through God to the pulling down the strongholds, casting down imagination and every high thing to exalt itself. What? Against the knowledge of God. Right? Yes. That's what we try. That's the whole piece I'm trying to say as far as in, 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 in meditating on the word of God is when it said, by his stripes I am healed. Huh? Amen. Is 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 that I'm dwelling in the, I like Psalms, you know, I know you love Psalms 91. I'm dwelling in the secret place of the most high. Huh? There's definitely definitely that pestilence doesn't come nigh my dwelling because I'm dwelling in the secret place. Those are the type of things I like about the word of God is reminding us who we are. You know, when other people try to label you and try to tell you be something, Brother Jackson. It's easy to sit there and recognize, no, 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 no. You don't label me. <laughs> you, you, you don't identify me. <laughs> the word did that, huh? The word did that. Even when the enemy tried to plot a scheme against you and try to hold things from you from the world, you sit there and say, you can't hold this, you can't hold his gift from me. You can't hold his love from me. You can't take that from me, huh? That what makes the difference as far as I'm concerned. Now, I got here, uh, Elder, uh, Hebrews 12, 1. Did we pray yet? We did pray, right? I'm so excited. I can't remember. We did pray. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, let's get into the word. <laughs> uh, Brother Jackson, I'm going to give that to you, Brother Jackson. This is Hebrews 12, 1. It's verse okay, 1 through 2. Go ahead. Wherefore? Seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. Come on now, come on. Sin, which do it so easily beset us. Come on. And let us run with patience. Yes. The race yes. that is set before us. Come on now. And we've all got a race to run. Yes, sir. Verse 2. <laughs> Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. <laughs> For the joy that was set before him endured the cross. He endured the cross. Woo! Despising the shame. Come on! And is sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. 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 And see, that goes in line with the Resurrection Sunday. I'm saying that he endured the cross. <laughs> he did it. Yes. He, he did it for the joy. I liked about this elder. The fact is, he did it, Brother Jackson. For the joy that was set before him, meaning Brother Jackson was set before him as a child of God, redeemed by God because of his resurrection, because of his suffering on that cross. He did that for you. You know what I mean? He saw, I mean, y'all, you take almost personal understand. He did this for us. Amen. That, that you personally, he's, the joy that was set before him is Brother Jackson. The joy that was set before him was Elder Johnson. The, boy, the joy that was set before him is Ken Taylor. And all the other believers that come, this is the joy that he said, I endured that cross. Amen. Woo! That, that's, that's what gets me stirred up, man. And when you sit there and meditate on what, what this Resurrection Sunday is all about, what he did. <laughs> Yes. Because we all deserve the punishment of death. Yes. I mean, to, to say that he was the restorer of the breach, to say that he was the, the Messiah, his resurrection was a necessity. Yes, that sir. Was part of the, that was part of his, uh, his, his, his what can I say, his, uh, authentic, to authenticate who he, who he was and who he is. Yes. He was prophesied that he would rise from the race from the dead. Come on. So he is proven that he is the Messiah through his resurrection. Yes, sir. But the proof of his resurrection is the indwelling spirit that we have. The, Come on. the Holy Ghost of us is evidence that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Yes, sir. The prophecy was 
he would rise, ascend, and send the Holy Ghost. Woo! So the Holy Ghost being in us, yes, sir, is a proof positive that he rose from that back from the grave, and that he is the Messiah, and that he has restored the breach. Come on now, God's creation has been reconciled to him. Yes, by the sir. Work done at the cross, the sin that was paid, and so now we're in fellowship Woo! with the Father again. Come on. What we have to do is to learn to walk in that fellowship, and, and that's the part that we are growing in. Yes, sir. The knowledge of what that really means. Uh huh. <laughs> hey, Elba, but don't forget, in Philip, Philippians what? Philippians one six, that you had this this confidence, this very thing that he would say, who had began a good work in you, right? You would bring the fruition. Woo! You would bring the fruition. Yeah. <laughs> he would perform until the day of Jesus, huh? <laughs> yep, yeah, you would bring it to fruition. Woo! It's going to take place. It's, going to happen. it's happening. Yes, it's sir. Already. Yes, sir. Yep. That I think yeah, that's. And, go ahead. And even in Corona. This situation that we're going through right now is still towards the strengthening of the church. Yes, sir. It, it, uh, the body of Christ is being strengthened by this period of isolation, this period. Man, I'll tell, I'll tell you something. It's really it's, it's hurtful in the sense that you feel pity for the people that are actually having to suffer through this. Yes, sir. It's joyous in the sense that you, you can feel the spirit of God moving in it even as people are suffering. Yes. Hearts are being the ground is being prepared for us to go forth and do our part. Yes, sir. Now, when that happens, God only knows what the response is going to be when these doors are open and we're back out there in the field trying to harvest. Come on. We're got to go forth. Come on. preach the word. We have to preach the truth. <laughs> you know, and the world is being prepared for that season. Yes, sir. The world sir. is being prepared for the prosperity plan no more. Woo! Your houses, these cars, these men can't help you right now. <laughs> We're talking life and death here. And yes. We're talking life and death eternal. Yes, sir. That's the best. You gotta yes. go forth. Yes, sir. You can water the down. But God is, is, is really, he's tightening this thing up. I mean, he, he's, he's clearing it. He's making it, giving clarity to the gospel. Come on, sir. That we, that we will preach, <laughs> that the world will hear. Yes, sir. You know, it, man, and, 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 and I can, you can feel it. Yes. It's like when the door opens, it's almost like you're at the, at the racetrack waiting for the stall door to open. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> like a minute. Yes, sir. In the street running, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the ground is prepared for that. The ground is being prepared for that right now. Right oh, now. do our part. <laughs> and don't know what the world's response is going to be. Don't know if there's going to be a great revival or there's going to be an uprising, a great persecution, but something's about to take place. Something's about to take place. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> You know, and it, you know, I'll, I'll think it too, and Brother Jackson, what you think about this is that right now, if the world used to look at the United States, if the world used to look at the United States as the, as the, the, the beacon of freedom and, 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 and of more value and so forth, and, and if they weren't looking to God and they were dependent on another source, huh? This, this thing is saying is, this country right now, right now is leading in infections and in death. You know what I mean? In other words, he's is is not no. This is 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 it's not is not a positive for us in one sense, but the positive in the sense of people knowing is that it's not the country. It's God. It's where the power resides in. No, no confidence in your horses and chariots. He told, he told Israel that. Woo. Don't have any confidence in your chariots or the numbers that you got out there. Woo. Your confidence got to be in me. Woo. It is being proven right now. No wall built Woo. to keep coronavirus out. Woo. You understand? No economic circumstance or situation right now. You can't buy this thing off. It, it, our, our economic status, our leadership in the political realm, our, 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 our form of government, everything that we had to offer the world as a beacon has at this point become worthless, vain. Wow. It's ineffective. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing that we can bring to the table now other than prayer and devotion to the Lord Jesus Christ that can pull us up and out of this thing. We're the greatest planet on the nation in the, in the world. Yes. We're the greatest nation in the world. And look how we have folded to this to this virus. Right. You know, and I think I think I think one thing or the other was this, Brother Jackson, and because when they see us look look up yeah, <laughs> you know, Come we on, we gonna say, look, on, we, I can't depend on, on my money. I can't depend on my army. I can't depend on my wealth. I gotta depend on Jesus, huh? That's what I mean. He, 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 he. Come on now, ain't <laughs> hey, no front Jackson. He the president said, pray, <laughs> pray. 
Hallelujah. Hey, the president said, I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch the uh, sunrise service or, 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 or the, or I'm going to call it Resurrection Sunday on the laptop in the morning. Hey, the brother's like, hey, well, I'm looking up to him. <laughs> good, I feel really good about that. Woo! Come on. <laughs> I don't feel good about it, man. Yes, sir. Oh, no, he learned himself. He learned he's something. I actually working. Come on. It's hard to be in the right direction. Come on. It's if you, called. If you look at the Lord, he's going to get some information that's going to be viable. You know? <laughs> hey. It's him. Yes, sir. He's praying. My my fact, my fact, I like that because the saying is that despite our our standing in the world, despite our power and our might, we are looking up. We're yes, looking sir, up. Man. We recognize we need Him, huh? And, and then on top of that, Elder, on top of that, like the fact is, yeah, we're going. Look, it's hitting us more than anybody else. We we got more affection. We get more death. I mean, we getting seven hundred. I think it was seven ninety nine today. Uh, oh, from yesterday, and, and and what do we do? We look up, and that's what the world is going to see in the midst of a crisis. What does the most powerful nation turn to? God Almighty, huh? Woo! It is so strange that God orchestrated that moment. Yes. Yes. I mean, all that has happened to include the election and all the things that I thought were just an atrocity. A lot of things that went forth before that point. God seen the end of it. Woo. This man is looking to God for direction. Come on now. How many more are gonna stand out there and say that? It's not too many more gonna stay, you know, even when Prince prayed, uh, when, Prince, when Prince mentioned, he mentioned the Lord. Uh -huh. So these guys, even though who knows what ploy it is that they're, you know, they've been missing the Lord since they got it. <laughs> and they've been killing off Native Americans and everything else. But what it does, it gives us a backdrop that we can function in without fear of persecution from the state. Come out. Come out. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. They may be doing the ploy, but it opens the door for us to do it authentic. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah. So when it, when it, we can go out now on the street. We go. That is the overtone that I've been looking for from some president for years and years and years. You ain't got to go to work. We've been ordained to do that. Yes, sir. Just give us the call. Come All on. Thing you got to do. You ain't got. You, you ain't got to become a Jew. Just support the nation. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to become a Christian. Just support Christianity. Come we'll on. The rest of you. So, man, I, I almost. Forgot everything he did. Uh -huh. Proud of that. Because shit like that set a backdrop for us to go out and do some work. So if we don't do what's required of us now, it's all on us. And whatever befalls this nation, it's gonna hit us just as hard as anybody else. It slapped us. Oh man, it slapped us hard, didn't it? It slapped us hard. Yep. And, and you know, uh, I, and it's, it's interesting because this is Resurrection Sunday. Is uh, I put on the Exodus twelve, brother Jackson. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you because we we man, Elder Jackson, Mister uh, Mister Jackson is is a minister in preparation. I want you to know that. See, so so we we we, we, we want to get him to to get into getting that word. And the main thing about it is preach the word, right, or speak the word only, right. So, so what, what I thought was, is, is brother Jackson, think about this. This is what sounds kind of it could be eerie in itself, but. The, the the Passover, this is Exodus yes, 12. You're going to read from 12 to two slides. This slide to the next one. But one of the things, if you talk about the foreshadowing, when Egypt was the most powerful nation in the world, all those plagues brought it to its knees. Huh? It got to the point when they said, Go! Go, go, you go, you go preach, you go worship your God any way you want to, huh? We ain't gonna stop you. You go do what you gotta yeah, do, yeah. huh? That's what I'm talking about. That's and, what I'm talking about. And, and and this what this last one, one of the things I saw is kind of foreshadowing, Elder, was that those people had to stay indoors. Every you you saw the Jewish people had to stay in their houses. That night, so that the deaf angel had to pass by, and if they had the blood of the lamb, yeah. the deaf angel went on by. Huh? Come on. Is that not 
kind of similar in that situation. So when we get that, uh, we're going to let out, we're going to let our, our brother Jackson read that uh, these two slides. I did put down here, Elder, to let you know that the uh, Passover date starts on the 8th of April, started, and it goes to end on the 16th. And, and that, if, if that's just based on the Jewish calendar, uh, and based on that, I mean, the 16th is the, is the, is the, uh, that sunset, right? At that sunset, he rose, didn't he? Because they said on the, he came on the first day of the week, it was already, and we're going to cover that scripture too about Mary and them going to the tomb. Right. But it was the first she, day of the It was Sunday, <laughs> and it was still dark. So that means he, he didn't write, he no, he no, he no, he no sunrise service because he was already up. <laughs> he was already up, Brother Jackson. He was up on, if you, if you want to get Saturday night, he was up. He was up. By the time, by the time Mary and him showed up on the first day of Sunday morning, it was still dark, the tomb was empty. Amen. So I, I don't put it, but you go ahead and read that for us, and, and you welcome to do your commentaries in between, or you you want the Elder Johnson to do some commentary in between, and we're going to disrupt you, you understand why? Because it's an exciting time, amen? Amen. <laughs> go ahead, brother. Don't chime in anytime you feel like it.